Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on this channel. This time we're going to revisit Blue Green and Canary releases with a tool called Argo Rollouts. And we're gonna delve right in, no PowerPoints or other kinds of descriptions, and show you how it works. And let's start with the Blue Green release. We are going to deploy a very simple application. It's an API that when you hit it at the root will display a welcome message. And that welcome message is set by an environment variable welcome. And in this case, it gets that value from a config map that we create, a config map called super API config. Now, normally you would expect to deploy such an application with a deployment, right? If you know something about Kubernetes, you probably know that deployment objects are used for this, or resources of kind deployment. With Argo rollouts, the idea is to change that into a rollout object. So you don't use a deployment object, you use a, a rollout object. So the API version is what you see here, and the kind is not deployment, but is a rollout. Now, because it's a rollout type of resource, it has additional settings. So in the spec, we can add a strategy. In our case, we set this to blue green and blue green requires two services, the active service pointing to the active version or stable version of your application. And the preview service points to a preview version of your application in case when you're doing an upgrade. Now, of course, when we first deploy this application, the active service and the preview service will point to the same pods. Now, you need to start somewhere, of course. So these active and preview services have to be created. And you can just create them and use the selector for the pods in your rollout. So in this case, that's app equals super API. For both services, the same selector is used. And this label is set in the pod template. You can see that here, the pod template of the rollout, the label is set as well, app equals super API. Now we are going to deploy this application using customize. If you don't know what customize is, don't worry. The only thing you need to know if you do use it is that you have to add this configuration here to make customize aware of Argo rollouts. Otherwise things will really be messed up if you try to use customize. And in our case, just know that we are using a config map generator to generate that config map that contains the welcome message. So in our case, our welcome message is set to hello from V1. Let's deploy this application. To deploy this application, we are just going to use customize. So I have K as an alias for cube cuddle or cube control, right? So that is indeed the same as typing a cube cuddle here. I'll just use K, then K apply uh, minus K in this case, because we're using customize. And then we do that from the, uh, the current folder. I'm in this manifests folder that you see over here. So doing this, we'll do the actual deployment, also create a namespace called uh, blue green and deploy the rollout. As you can see here, the rollout was created by customize. So that's the first step. Now, if we are looking what happened, and here you see Octant, which is an interesting or good GUI tool you can use to visualize what's happening in your Kubernetes cluster. If we're using Octant here, and we're going to the namespace called blue green, you should see all these objects being deployed. So I'm seeing my two pods here. They're a replica set, which controls the pods. We have my two services, and we also have the config map that was created by the config map generator. The name is different here. It contains a hash as well, but don't worry. Customize has also updated the reference to the config map inside the rollout object. Now this tool directly also shows the custom resources in your namespace. So the rollout is also shown here. So we created this rollout with customize. If I'm clicking on that rollout, I can go to the resource viewer, which gives me a graphical view of what was deployed. And where you normally would see a deployment and then a replica set and then your pods. Now you just see a Argo rollout. The rollout uses a replica set to deploy the pods and maintain the number of replicas. In this case, there are multiple pods running here. In this case, there are two. 
And then you see also that the uh, service, so the preview service, but also the active service, they both point to the same pods. So what happens when we actually go to this service? Well, and I'm using the, let's say, the active service here. I can click on the service name. I see the service. I can start the port forward directly from this tool. I can go there and I can see, indeed, we get the hello from V1 back. So that's exactly what we expect. Now, because this is a rollout, Argo rollouts also has its own UI here. Yeah, as you can see, this UI uh, lives in my case on the uh, localhost 3100. And the only reason for that is the fact that we have spun up, um, spun up uh, the dashboard. And let's remove, remove some of the errors. But here you can see I installed a plugin for Cubectal, which is the Argo rollouts plugin. And by simply then typing Cubectal Argo rollouts dashboard and then the namespace where your rollouts are living, in this case, that's the blue green namespace, I can then go to this view over here. And we can see that this is a rollout of type blue green. I will make it a little bit uh, bigger here. So of type blue green. I have two pods which are running. And if I click on this, I can indeed see that there is only one revision. It's the stable and active revision. So that's great. What we now have to do is we have to introduce a change to our application. Let's do that by modifying the welcome message. I'm now back in my manifest folder and the customization.yaml file. And in the config map generator, I modify the welcome literal to hello from v2. I just save this and then simply running k apply minus k dot will update the config map. The config map will get a new name and that new name will also be in the pod template in our rollout spec. And because the pod template changes, the application needs to be upgraded. So this blue green process will then actually start doing its work. Let's see if that's the case. Let's first modify this over here and look closely. The config map was created, so the new config map, and the rollout was configured. So the rollout was modified. And indeed, this modifies the pod template in the rollout. If you look back in Octant, we'll now see that there are two replica sets. There's a replica set, of course, for the active pods, and now a new replica set for the preview pods. And if you look at the services, the active service and preview service still exist. We already had them, but the selectors have changed. The active service uses here, you can see a selector that includes the rollout spot template hash and so on with a value behind it. That's different for the preview pods. It's a different hash value over here. So Argo rollouts has modified the selectors in the services to properly point to either the active or the preview service. If I now go to the preview service, this should, should say that we are uh, saying hello from V2. So let's start a port forward on that preview service. Let's go to it and we get the hello from V2 message. The other one still says hello from V1. So now we are let's say content that it says hello from v2 that's our extensive testing coming to an end we can think about promoting this uh, preview service so i'm now going back to argo rollouts and as you can see the ui already has changed now i see there are two revisions yeah revision one is of course the earlier revision the first revision the hello from v1 service so to speak and we have our preview one over here now, if we want to promote the preview to be the active one, we only have to click the promote button here. Let's do that. And let's say that we are sure and then see what happens. Yeah, we'll give it some time uh, for it to do its uh, work. Now, what will happen? The uh, revision one will be scaled down to zero. So the pods will be basically removed, we scale down to zero. So we only have one active service. And the active service, of course, now says that we are um, in the V2 uh, version. And here you can see it. 
uh, it's being scaled down as you can see there and yeah there's still some work going on we're in the terminating uh, state we can also see that uh, at the level of our um, of our octon tool here there indeed we see now that we only have two pots we still have two replica sets but one of the replica sets has been scaled down to zero and of course the active service should now say hello from v2 because of course the green pots so to speak are now the active pots let's check if the active service says hello from v2 and indeed it does say that so you have seen how easy it is to basically have uh, our beginning state of the application introduce a change and then use the blue green process in this case with manual checks of course and then to promote it manually using the uh, ui now suppose you want to you want to go back to the to the previous state how do you do that well from the tooling that's actually quite easy because you can see here that there's a rollback option on revision one now if you do that if you click rollback and then say sure on revision one what now suddenly happens is that indeed uh, revision one is gone it's not in the in the screen here anymore and we have revision two and revision three now revision three actually is the one we want to roll back to so be aware in this case the rollback the active service will still say hello from v2 can we check that yeah of course we can go to the active service yeah this is the active service i'm going to stop the port forward start it again and then check it out yeah it still says hello from v2 yeah the rollback wasn't the is, isn't done yet why because we basically get the chance here the option to preview the rollback and if we think that's okay we can do promote again and now we go back to our uh, previous state and you can indeed see now revision 3 becomes the active service if i'm now doing the stop forwarding actually i don't have to do it but i'll just do it just in case uh I click here and of course we get back hello from v1 so great the rollback is always there to help you but don't forget that this also introduces a preview basically of what you want to roll back to and you also have to run this uh, promote uh, option again to show you how this all works from the command line i've introduced another change and applied it using customize so i just modified the message to say hello from v3 and then applied it that gives me again a new revision revision 4 which is in a preview state and suppose i want to go to that revision how do i do this from the command line now instead of using the ui you can just use the command line here to do a k argo rollouts and then get rollout dev super api heba which in this case is the name of the rollout and i see similar information to what i saw on the uh, ui here i can see my revisions here i can see the active revision which is revision three right that's an important one that's the active revision and the stable revision um, and i see my new revision four which is the preview revision and the status is paused uh, is the blue green pause that we have here it's waiting for me to approve of switching to the preview service so how do I do that from the command line? Well, we only need to run the rollouts promote command here. So when we do this, we promote our dev super API Geba rollout. When I go back to the previous command here and I go to the get rollout uh, dev super API Geba, what you see now is that the status is healthy. There is no pause anymore. And the revision four has now become the stable and the active service. So if I go back uh, to something like Octant and I'm doing a um, port forward here, for example, I go to my services, or actually I was still on the active service. I go to the active service, I do a port forward over there and I check out what the uh, message is. I should get the hello from V3 here. All right, we have now seen how to do blue green releases with Argo rollouts. And yeah, I must admit, I really like uh, this tool a lot because of the flexibility with the CLI, with the UI as well, and the way it clearly implements uh, these uh, features. In an upcoming video, we'll take a look how to do 
the canary release strategy with uh, Argo rollouts. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.